Hey, what is this picture about? Oh, Aurora, did you see it? Tomorrow is supposed to be your wedding with Sebastian, right? So I thought I'd better tell you the truth before that. <laughs> what the hell is this? Why are you two kissing? Why are you two next to each other in bed? What is going on? I'm sorry, Aurora. <laughs> I never intended to steal my own sister's fiancé. But I couldn't resist his passionate appeal. <laughs> he is just so incredibly passionate, you know. Stop it. Well, I don't blame him. With my figure and looks, every man would turn their heads for me. <laughs> that doesn't give you the right to steal my fiancé like that. I've already informed the guests. What am I going to do now? Well, it seems like Sebastian isn't planning to marry you. <laughs> Looks like he's already informed his guests too. <laughs> what? So was I the only one who didn't know until just now? Just me and all the other guests? I guess so. Well, I knew all along though. <laughs> Daphne! How could you do something so terrible? I'll never forgive you. I'm cutting you off. Sebastian, too. Oh, come on. There's no need to cut ties completely, right? It's a sad ending. But for me, it's a fresh start. <laughs> I'd appreciate a bit of support. <laughs> Stop kidding around. Goodbye. Hey, Aurora. How have you been? It's been two years since the last time I talked to you. You really got the nerve to hit me up after what you did? You were something else. Oh, God. Don't be like that to your only sister. Do you have any idea what you have done two years ago? Yeah, but what choice did I have? Sebastian was really pushing to be with me. It's not like I wanted it to happen. No way. You must have done something to manipulate him. Well, if you say I manipulated him, well, maybe I did. <laughs> I mean, look at me. I've got a great figure, don't I? And being pretty doesn't hurt either. Yeah, right. I guess I'm just a troublemaker, huh? <laughs> you haven't changed at all, huh? Well, it doesn't matter anyway. It's been two years. I said I was cutting ties with you, remember? So there's nothing more to talk about. See ya. <laughs> hey, hold on a sec. If I bothered to message you, wouldn't you think I have something to say or ask? No, I don't have anything to do with you. Well, it's not like there's nothing, right? After two years of waiting... Sebastian and I are finally tying the knot. <laughs> you did get the invitation, didn't you? Oh yeah, I think something did arrive. But I'm pretty sure I replied in a flash, of course, declining the invitation. That's not happening. I absolutely refuse. Why? Well, you're going to be a common attendee for both of us. <laughs> You gotta be there as someone who knows our love story inside out. What the hell does that even mean? Besides, on my end, the relative's attendance is pretty much a disaster. <laughs> well, obviously. The whole family was in shock after snatching your sister's fiancé the day before the wedding. There's no one here to celebrate your marriage. So that's why I thought I'd have you there. <laughs> Of course, Sebastian's cool with it, too. I could care less about him. It was a stroke of luck that it happened before the official marriage, considering the circumstances. Yeah, that's true. But seriously? What a horrible sister, right? Trying to get compensation from her ex-fiancé and her own older sister? Of course. Personally, I wasn't satisfied with the amount, 
but it wasn't about the money anyway. The only good thing about that compensation was that it allowed me to go on a vacation overseas. <laughs> yeah, it was like a healing journey. You've been through a lot too, huh? I don't want to hear that from you. But yeah, isn't the wedding tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> That's why I hit you up. You better come tomorrow. I said I'm not going, remember? I already sent my RSVP declining the invitation. What are you talking about? Your ex and my wedding is tomorrow. It must be tough, but little sis, you're obligated to attend. <laughs> That's too bad, but I really can't make it. Why? I mentioned it earlier, didn't I? I went abroad. At first, it was supposed to be a healing trip. But as I stayed here for a while, I started thinking, why not stay? And then, conveniently, I got offered a job as a language instructor for kids. So I'm living here now. What? You never told me. Why would I? I cut ties with you, remember? Anyway, I'm not going to attend your wedding. <laughs> Good luck with everything. <laughs> It's a huge mess. You did this, didn't you? Answer me. Huh? What's wrong? Today is your wedding, right? Is it over? What? Are you kidding me? Our wedding has turned into a disaster. This is all your fault. What on earth have you done? What happened to your wedding? Can you elaborate? Stop acting dumb. I know you're behind all of this. What are you talking about? All of my exes came to my wedding. What? The venue was swarming with my exes. Because of that, the groom's folks, relatives, and co-workers were totally freaked out. I never told anyone about the wedding except the invitees. So I have no idea how my exes all showed up. It's gotta be your doing. How many exes do you even have? You messed up my wedding completely. What did you do? You cheating scumbag. How dare you leave me in such a terrible way? You had a fiancé? I'm gonna sue you for damages. It was chaos with everyone shouting in the venue. But isn't it all true? That's not the point. You're behind all of this, huh? Do something. What do you want me to do? I'm not even there. There's nothing I can do for you. You're asking someone to do things for you, right? Who are you even in cahoots with? I'm not in touch with anyone. I don't care about your wedding. I'm not that bored to bother with you guys. <laughs> Besides, we've cut ties, so it's none of my business. <laughs> what do you mean? I hit rock bottom two years ago when I was hit with your awful betrayal. I was at rock bottom. But coming overseas was the best decision ever. Life's turned around big time here. I found a wonderful partner, got in married, and now we even have kids. <laughs> what? Really? Yup. <laughs> I'm swamped every day with chores and kids. But it's a good kind of busy, so I can't complain. <laughs> I'm enjoying these busy but fun days. So I completely forgot about you. And honestly, whether your wedding goes well or not, or what happens between you two, it's none of my concern. So who would have done something like this? I can't think of anyone else besides you. Oh, actually... What? Last night, I got some mysterious message on Facebook. It looked like a fake profile, but I just sent a quick reply for the fun of it. <laughs> huh? They were saying they're going to ruin your wedding. What the hell did you reply? Do as you please, and then I deleted them. <laughs> what? I deleted it without reading the details, so I don't know the specifics of how they plan to ruin it. <laughs> But isn't it because of all your past misdeeds? Well, I mean, I haven't done anything, really. 
Okay, you've got the looks and style, and who knows how many guys have been after you. But seriously, what have you been up to? I've been waiting for this day to come. <laughs> huh? Hey, do you think you've got a lot of guys out there holding a grudge against you? Just like how you stole my fiancé. Have you been stealing other people's lovers and fiancés? That's probably why your wedding's turned into such a mess. <laughs> Seems like karma's catching up to you, huh? I didn't do anything wrong. It's not like I went out of my way to steal anyone's partners. Those guys just came to me because of my looks. It's not my fault. I see. Then why not just confidently say, I've got nothing to hide and call it a day? <laughs> it's not like there's anything to be concerned about, right? I guess, but my wedding is a disaster. I really don't know anything. But it's true. I did receive a mysterious message last night. <laughs> it had nothing to do with me, so I just replied like, Sure, go for it, or something. Why would you say something like that to them? Well, I was kind of thinking about getting back at you. <laughs> Isn't that fair enough? <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? I don't know. Why don't you do your best to clear your name? I don't want anything to do with you anymore, so don't contact me anymore. Aurora! Can you do me a favor? I need your help. Daphne, I told you not to contact me anymore, right? You're the only one I can count on. What is it? Could you lend me some money? About $70,000? What? I don't have that kind of money. Even if I did, I would never lend you that much money. Stop screwing around. Wait a minute. You're my sister, aren't you? Don't be so cold. What are you going to do with that money in the first place? I'm getting asked to pay compensation. I figured. Even Sebastian wouldn't want to marry someone who's got a bunch of exes coming after her, right? And thinking about his family, it's pretty obvious how it would turn out. <laughs> no, it wasn't Sebastian. Who is it then? Actually, I kind of made promises of marriage to someone else too. Huh? Just in case things didn't work out with Sebastian, I needed a backup plan. Wow, you were really doing that. No wonder you've got people gunning for you, right? Seems like you're just reaping what you sow, huh? Stop judging me! Who's asking you for compensation? My ex's girlfriend and fiancé, and my current boyfriend's wife. What the hell? I'm so lost. You were dating other people than Sebastian? Even someone who's married? What kind of nerve have you got? Well, it's not my fault that they come to me. That's not the issue. You've always been sloppy like that. You've been getting into fights for stealing friends' boyfriends. And since you started working, you've been taking other people's partners too. With rumors flying around about your wild dating life, it's no wonder you're always in trouble. You're every woman's enemy. So even if your wedding gets ruined, it's kind of expected, don't you think? You don't have to be harsh. I'm an open-minded person, you know. Being able to accept anyone is a wonderful thing, isn't it? <laughs> Just because you're open-minded doesn't mean it's okay to steal someone else's partner or date married men, right? That's just beyond common sense. So, one of the ex's wives who's demanding damages is the daughter of a big-shot CEO. And apparently, she's really stingy with money. I guess if she's the boss's daughter. She's saying if I don't pay up, she'll take me to court. She even said she can afford a good lawyer with her money and can use her parents' connections to make things go her way. I've been dodging it for a while, but it seems like I can't avoid it this time. Huh? You've been avoiding it? Honestly, that's just appalling. 
Didn't you realize you were doing something wrong by cheating with someone else's husband? Outstanding style and a beautiful face are things I naturally possess, right? <laughs> That's why my ex came crawling back to me. I mean, it's only natural. So there shouldn't be any bad perception, right? You just don't understand the struggles of a top-notch woman like me. <laughs> what struggles? I don't even want to understand. First of all, stealing someone else's boyfriend, fiancé, or spouse is completely unacceptable. If you did that while engaged, it's even more unforgivable. I won't help someone like that, and I won't lend them money either. You're my sister, right? You should at least help me when I'm in trouble. Haven't I ever asked you for such a favor before? Why should I bail you out? You're the reason I hit rock bottom. Fortunately, I found new happiness by coming overseas. But I have no intention of forgiving you. There are plenty of other women who have gone through what I have. You are the only person I can count on. I told you I'm done with you. I have no obligation to help you. Don't be silly. That woman is threatening me. How? If I don't pay compensation, she's threatening to use her father's influence to interfere with Sebastian's job. She's saying they can easily get him fired, so be prepared for that. I don't know anything about that. I don't care what happens to you or Sebastian. You two betrayed me. How can you say such awful things? You loved him, right? Don't you want to help him? No, I already told you, didn't I? I have no lingering feelings for a man who betrayed me the day before our wedding and chose you. You really are cold. No matter what you say, I'm not lending you money. Could you stop contacting me about your business already? Don't say that. My life is going to be ruined if things continue like this. Especially when Sebastian is trying to run away from me. Is that so? <laughs> well, let's be real. Who'd want to spend married life with a woman who has her exes crashing the wedding, right? <laughs> I guess you didn't have a good eye for women after all. I hope you both get what you deserve for betraying me. Aurora, are you trying to ruin my life? I don't want to hear it from you. I've said it countless times. It was me who got pushed to rock bottom, okay? Cut it out with your nonsense. Don't say such cold things. I'm sorry, I was wrong. I apologize, so please, somehow come up with the money? If you don't do something, I... Crying won't work on me. We're complete strangers. No matter how many times you ask, I won't lend you money or help you in any way. Don't contact me ever again. Aurora, please, help me. There's no way I can come up with that amount of money. Talking to you feels like we're going nowhere. I'm ending this conversation. Wait! I'm blocking you. I'll never meet you or talk to you again. Goodbye. You're my family, right? Aurora! After that, Daphne couldn't get away. She ended up facing a lawsuit after angering her ex-boyfriend's wife's father, who's a big company's president, leading to a legal dispute over the payment of the hefty sum of $70,000. With the need to pay compensation officially, my sister had to work multiple jobs day and night to pay in installments. On top of that, Sebastian lost his job due to pressure from the president, and his parents are furious. Now, it seems, she's facing even more demands for compensation. Most likely, my sister will end up working her whole life to repay the compensation. That's her karma. Hearing about the outcome didn't really stir any emotions in me. I'm still enjoying happy days with my family overseas. Finding out I'm pregnant with our second child recently has made me feel the joy of having a family even more strongly. I guess I owe my sister some gratitude for taking the bold step to come abroad. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.